what's going down everybody welcome back man it's sunday it's father's day so to all my fathers out there man happy father's day man i know what it takes to get it done all year and this is our day so with that being said man we're gonna jump right into this weekend video it's about the same thing it's about the brakes on the back of the truck 09 ram 1500 two-wheel drive so let's jump right into it and get this party started here we go man so I've already got the back wheels. I went ahead and took both back wheels off the truck. I'm going to show you. There's them washers right here. Right? Now, I had to put them there to keep the rotor from rubbing. Now, I'm going to take this caliper off real quick, take them washers out, and bolt it up. But I'm going to do something real quick, and I want you to pay attention to this. Wow. Hold on. You see how I can turn this? You see that? All right, so pay attention to that, man. Remember that. Now I'm gonna take this caliper off real quick. We're gonna bolt it back up without the washers behind it, and I'm gonna show you what I got. We're gonna drop this real quick. You're gonna see that washer fall out. Look, it's right here. I'm gonna try to, oh, I couldn't catch it. It's right here, oh, there it goes. So we're gonna set this down. I gotta move this camera, right? Okay, we removed the washers. Here's the two washers that I had. So I had them in between the caliper mounting bracket and the bracket on the rear end. So now that I got them off, you can see that they're gone. I'm going to set y'all down. It's kind of a rear shot here. Make sure y'all are right. Now I want you to watch something here, man. Check this out, okay? I can spin it. And it's free and it's clear. Now y'all watch this, man. I'm gonna bolt this thing up real quick. I'm not even gonna get it tight like to torque or nothing. Now watch this. Uh, look how hard it is to turn, right? And then when I bolt my wheel up, look. Uh, 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 so that's that so i didn't tighten these down man i didn't torque these back these caliper mountain bracket look at that look now you see how that is see how it gets tight right there now watch this i'm gonna put my wheel on there and put two lug nuts in it and snug them up and the thing will stop spinning gonna put a couple lug nuts on there like I said we're gonna snug them up and it, it goes real south real quick as soon as I snug this thing up man Not that snug. Now look at it. Look at it. Ugh. 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 Look how tight that is, man. So that's not right. Now, I put, I'm gonna put the washers back and then I'm gonna show you why I got another rotor. So if you see, I mean, that's with only two lug nuts, man. That is, that's just wild to me. That don't make any sense. Now, I do wanna try something and I will show y'all. So I have some extra washers. So what I'm thinking about doing is taking the washers off the other side and maybe seeing if I have to put another washer over here and space it out. At least I then I know then that my rotor is flat against my axle. So that's a plan. That's probably what we're gonna get into. So let's give it a try. Here it is, man, the new rotor. So if you remember in the last couple videos, man, when I was talking about it, dude, that rotor got so hot. Look, it turned it blue. It absolutely smoked that rotor, man. And it's already starting to get a little warp. And as far as I'm, I mean, even in the drum, 
I don't know if you can see in there that well, but even that drum, look, that's even a purplish blue. So that tells me it got hot, hot. So it cost me a rotor. I got the new one. We're about to put it back on. And then we're going to jump to the other side of the truck. This is the passenger side we're working on. We're going to take them washers off from behind that rotor over there. Put it all back together. Make sure it spins freely on that side. And then come over here and see what kind of shims I got to do to make it work on this side. Because I surely don't want to smoke another rotor. And I'm curious about them pads. I'm going to go with them for now. But I'm almost sure that they're probably gone too. So we're going to ride it out for the moment. I might have to order another set of pads. But let's get busy throwing this rotor on. Throwing that rotor away. And getting to the other side and getting them washers off, man. We're on the driver's side. I wanted to show y'all before I take these bolts out. Look, there's no washers back here. I didn't put any washer back there. So, we're going to yank this off real quick. I'm going to remove the washers. Let me set y'all down. We're just going to keep it rolling. <clears throat> Excuse me. Yeah, we're going to slide this thing off. Like so. Bam. See, that thing was so nice. And then we're going to pull this off. And I'm going to show you, look, it's not blue behind there. So that lets me know that other one was rubbing. Now there's those washers. Just like everybody I know, that's those mystery washers right there. Right there, right there. One on each lug nut too. So we're gonna put this back on there. Still nice, see? Still nice, still good. All right, now we're gonna put the caliper back on and then we're gonna, so I'm gonna bolt everything back up on this side without the washers. Then we're gonna jump to the other side. I'm gonna tighten everything down, put the wheel on there and see where we're at. And then we'll go from there. One more shot of the washers, not on the rotor. And then I'm gonna show you, look, the rotor spins freely, all right? So that spinning freely is key. So we're gonna get to the other side and see what we gotta do. I gotta bolt this wheel back on first though. I'm gonna wait to put that other wheel back on the driver's side. So we're back on the passenger side. Where's my, here's my washers. I still didn't put my washers back in. And it spins. Here, let me set you down. Look, there's the other washer. Let me show you all the wheel. So it is kind of snug. But last weekend when I did that and I bolted everything up without the washers, I couldn't even spin it like that. So I'm going to bolt the wheel back up on this side. Because once I did that, it made it real tight. So we'll see what's going on with it back to the driver's side here man so y'all seen i took the washers off from behind the rotor i put the wheel let me show you the passenger side real quick so i put the wheel back on snug it up pretty good right it's getting tight again but but i want to show y'all this so i might have to set y'all down again and i'm going to show you and i want you to listen you hear that since that grinding so i didn't have that when i put when the washers were behind the rotor so they're obviously using it to space the rotor off of the emergency brake pads is what i'm thinking so somebody might have put the wrong pads on here man i don't know at this point y'all i don't know so i'm taking this back off putting them washers back on i'll bolt everything back up we'll spin it again if the noise goes away i'm gonna say that's the reason for the washers driver's side still so if you go back if you rewind back in the video the first time i pulled this rotor off it come right off man now look at it now that i took them washers off and put it back on and bolted it up man it's got it stuck on there so i gotta i gotta beat on this board a little bit get it freed up we're putting them washers back and we're leaving them for good obviously it's to space the rotor because it goes in too far and gets stuck so let me get all this done and we're gonna wrap this video up so there it is man washers put back behind the rotor listen all you hear is them pads rubbing that disc there's no grinding so that's what them washers are for what for whatever they're worth or for whatever it's worth um the washers behind my wheel is for spacing but i was looking at them emergency brake pads i gotta look at the other side i think i figured out what's wrong with them too but i gotta look at the other side first so let's jump back to the passenger side here we go man we're about to end this thing 
but I wanted to give you this last shot before I button everything back up. I believe I'm gonna put my two washers back, these here. Cause if you look at the face down the face of this rotor, you see how much of that shank is hanging out right there? You see how that rotor's pushed in? So let me flip you over here. We'll get to the other side. Do you see how it doesn't look the same? You see how it's out a little bit? Which that's what one of the reasons why I think that mounting caliper back here, this bracket right here on the rear end is either warped or maybe the caliper bracket is warped because when I tighten it up, it twists that rotor at an angle, right? It pulls the back side in and leaves the front side out. When I bolt my tire up, it automatically forces this in, right? You see it moving there. So I think I'm gonna go back with the washers. It seemed like it rolled real free like that. And that'll be that, man. Okay, guys, I put the washers back, man. I'm gonna give you this last shot of this and then I'm gonna get ready to button this up. This is kind of the end of the video clip that I'm just gonna fit in there somewhere. So let me get this tire back on there. And then I wanna show you how easy the tire spins with the washers on there. Cause earlier in the clip, you saw that it was getting tighter without the washers behind. So here it is, man, with the washers in between the caliper mounting bracket and the mounting point on the rear end. So without the washers, like I just stated, earlier in the video, y'all saw that it was getting tight. Now look at this. Not tight at all, man. So I'm leaving the washers back there. It seems to help the situation out. I'm glad y'all joined me on this Father's Day to go through this adventure with me, man, to figure out what's going on with all this. To be honest, it's still a mystery. I've had a couple of comments about getting a junkyard rear end or something like that. Man, that's probably the route I'm gonna end up going. But until that happens, man, y'all keep living the dream, doing your thing, like and subscribe, always hit your boy up with a comment, and happy Father's Day to all my guys out there that work hard every day to provide for their families. <laughs>